where I literally wanted to rip my hair out. There is not enough hours in the day and I'm not even joking, I shit myself. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. Um, I've had a lot of new subscribers recently so some of you might be like only just watching your first video of mine but hi, hello. <laughs> Um, I asked you guys for some questions over on Instagram and Snapchat. However, most of them, and when I mean most, I literally mean like 95% of them, ended up being around about sixth form. So I thought I'd just do like a how I'm doing at sixth form type Q&A thing because it just made sense if you guys just want to know about sixth form. Um, so yeah, if you do not know, I am currently in year 12 and I feel like I literally have said this about 60 gazillion times, but I'm taking biology, psychology, maths and chemistry at A level. Um, so yeah. One like little question that everyone kept asking was like, how are you finding sixth form in comparison to like what GCSEs was like and like how is sixth form different honestly it has been a massive change I don't know whether it's because I spent so long off school because of lockdown that going back feels even more weird than it did before but I just feel like the amount of freedom you get is so significant and i feel like loads of people will take advantage of that freedom and like use it to just doss about but if you use the freedom to your advantage and take control of your own learning honestly it will work wonders in your way um i've just found that i've been able to socialize a lot more as well um the social life in sixth form is so different to year 11 because i felt like i could barely have a social life in year 11 because of how much stress it was and even though a-levels are more stressful because you're always around your friends in freeze and like break and lunch you're you you get your work done and you're talking to your friends so it just feels like you're not losing your social life for work it feels like they're just combined and all like really balanced so i definitely think that social aspect of sixth form is so different to anything that you will experience in the lower years i would also just say how you have to take control of your own learning and you get a lot more responsibility which for some people is good for some people it's bad i feel like i've adapted to responsibility quite well um and i'm very very good at just naturally like taking control of my learning so it's not been too hard for me but for some people that would be a big change and I feel like I have seen some people panic at the fact that you literally have to learn it all yourself um I mean you have teachers but you know what I mean you have to do a lot of the learning yourself um so yeah I would just say that that's probably the biggest changes secondly it was like how are you finding the workload is the workload too difficult too hard um <sighs> It is a lot, like I will just say, it is a lot compared to year 11 again. Um, I've been given so much work, especially for maths. I'm finding maths the hardest to keep on top of because we're expected to do so goddamn much work that I just physically cannot fit it in to my time. There is not enough hours in the day. Um, but I would just say, as long as you try and like keep on top as much as you can in that like, don't delay a piece of homework until the night before, or don't just not do your notes after every lesson so you don't pile on a bunch of notes that you expect to do on the weekend you'll be able to manage it like that's how i've managed to manage managed to manage it managed it <laughs> managed it um just by like trying to keep on top of it after every lesson um because i feel like otherwise my brain will explode like I have had some really stressful moments. I think the first two weeks I had some really stressful moments. Um, you will see those, I think, if you go back and watch my like first week at year 12, I felt like I had some moments in that vlog where I literally wanted to rip my hair out. And what's different is, well, I find like the type of work and the lessons are different. Like, yeah, it's not that drastic because it's still, you're learning the content and going away, revising it, come, coming back and doing practice. Because that's literally your whole life at school. That's literally the, what you have to do. But I don't know. It just feels odd. Like, I just, I mean, like, 
from the get-go you're just ex expected to do so much like revision and independent study and I feel like I didn't ever have that pressure until like year 11 so like year 9 and 10 was so much of a DOS compared to like year 12 which scares me a little bit but I think it's also good because from the get-go you're teaching your brain to like get used to the information and so when you get to the end of it I feel like it'll be easier to like recall and do exams does that make sense another question that literally made up 90% of the questions was what are your favorite subjects and are you enjoying the subject you're taking um straight away I feel like I've moaned about this before in a video chemistry is just not the one for me I took it because I'm I was quite good at it like I, I'm naturally got a good brain for science and maths um hence why all of my subjects are science and maths but yeah I am finding that chemistry is just I just don't like it um it's not that I find it difficult it's just I'm like oh I don't really want to know about the periodic table and your electron configuration do you know what I mean it's just not not something I want to do and I don't need it for uni I don't need it for my future so it's definitely going to be a subject I want to drop straight away on the other hand favorite subjects and ones that I'm enjoying I'm definitely biology and psychology I'm definitely enjoying the most psychology is so interesting like honestly I feel like I've always wanted to know there's always been some questions that I feel like I've never been able to answer and I can answer them now like psychology has impacted me so much I know that's really really dramatic for the fact I've only taken the subject for four weeks but I absolutely love psychology and like I really want to do a psychology degree after A levels at the moment we're just learning about the approaches if you take psychology you will know um about how people how different ways of analyzing behavior based off either mental processes or genetics geno and phenotypes etc that type of thing it's like so goddamn interesting um some people don't find it that interesting though which i don't understand because i love it and biology i've always loved biology probably been one of my favorite subjects literally from when i was little um i was always fascinated by the human body and i actually did want to do medicine like that was my goal but i after researching i realized that it wasn't going to be the right job for me um so i've not going into medicine um i hope to do something in psychology instead like i said for maths i think i'm definitely finding maths the hardest out of the subjects i still enjoy maths though so i'm willing to put the effort in to make sure i understand it but I am finding it really difficult because I've been given the most work for it and it's really hard to keep on top of. My teacher goes so fast in lessons that it is impossible to write down it all and like understand it in lesson. So like I'm just, my brain is going to explode. Um, and I know a lot of people in my class, probably about 80% of us are really finding it hard to keep on top of. I have like, I just absorb maths, maths easily anyway. So I know that if I just go back over it, I will understand it a lot better. Um, but yeah, I'm, I am enjoying my subjects. I'm just ready to drop chemistry. Um, and I can't wait to learn more, which I feel like is a good thing. Like you know that you're on the right subjects if you are excited for the next lesson, excited to know what's next. My next question was like, do you feel pressured to already be getting good grades in your subjects. Um, if you don't know, I got really good grades in my GCSE. I'm so grateful for them and I hate to talk about it because I really don't want to brag, but I feel like because I've ha got good grades in GCSEs, I'm pressuring myself to do well in A-levels. I'm getting pressured by teachers to do well and my mum. <laughs> Um, so I feel quite pressured and anxious. Like I had to tell my mum that my biology teacher had said that there is a time where everyone will get like an E on a paper. She was like, my, the biology teacher said, she's like, even my eight star students have a paper where they fail. And I had to tell my mum, cause I was like, my mum's gonna expect me to get like C's, B's and A's like straight off the bat. And I'm just not gonna do that. So I had to warn her of that. We had like end of topic tests for biology math and maths. Um, I've not had one for chemistry and I've not had one for psychology yet, but 
I've really, really struggled. I didn't do that well on my biology and my teacher like gave us feedback and she was like, some of you need to start considering another course. And I'm not even joking. I shit myself in the seat because I was like, it's gonna be me. I'm gonna be the one that has the bad test result, the one that should be kicked off really. Um, so I do feel like there is a lot of pressure to do well straight off the start because my teacher was just like, if you're finding it difficult now, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get anywhere. And I was like, I'm not finding it difficult, but whether I'm answering the questions right is a different question. So we, I, I shit myself, kid you not. Um, so yeah, I did okay in the end and I restart the paper um, in my three and I ended up literally only dropping two marks. So I definitely improved and I knew how to answer them. I just messed something up. So that was that, but I do think that there just is a lot of pressure to do well, um, especially how I go to like a really high achieving academic school. I feel like just being in that school is pressurising me to do well. Also, I've just realised that like little Yoshi's head is just like poking up. <laughs> um, for reference, my brother won this in a on a claw machine and he didn't want to take it to uni with him so i've got it now yeah there is there's a lot of pressure that comes with year 12 but i just think you either deal with it or you don't and i feel like i'm trying to deal with it the best i can um whether i've succeeded is a different story but what can you do and this question actually i feel like this is like might be like the last question because loads of the questions were the same but this last one kind of links to the one I just said, but it was are A levels as hard as they say? And yeah, are you finding A levels harder than GCSE? Um, like I said, maths. Maths is a big step up from GCSE. I have found that really hard. And when they say that maths is a hard A level, I believe them. I didn't believe them before. I do now. Um, chemistry and biology. I feel like everyone says how hard those GCSEs are, um, how hard those A-levels are, sorry. Um, but I'm not finding it that difficult. And like, I don't know if that's because we're at the start of the course and the start of the course is like easier or whether it is just building on knowledge that you've already got. But I'm not finding it as difficult as people used to tell me. Like, Everyone I used to say my subject to used to be like, never take chemistry, don't take maths, don't take biology, you're going to ruin, you're going to hate it, you're not going to enjoy it, there's no point you even trying. And obviously I went against everything people said because I did feel like I enjoyed those subjects so much that there was nothing else I could have taken. Um, that's really sad to be honest, but yeah and i was willing to put the hard work in to make sure that i got good grades but i'm not struggling that much it is a lot of content but i feel like it's no different to gcse content wise but it's just yeah there's some things that are harder to grasp we've just done dna um from biological molecules topic and i really struggled with dna anyway for gcse so that really like played on my mind but I just used my own revision techniques to help me with that. Like I watched videos on them. I made notes, answered questions, flashcards, etc., to help me understand it. And I do understand DNA now. But yeah, I don't know. I just don't, there's nothing that stands out to be like really hard. I just get on with it, I think. I do think in addition to that, if you try your hardest at a subject, in a level i do think that you will achieve the best you possibly can your hard work will definitely be seen in an exam so i genuinely think if you are considering taking a levels or you're currently taking a levels and you're struggling just try your hardest because i genuinely think it will show in the exams um and yeah things are difficult but it's finding your own way around the hard bits so yeah i feel like that might be really easy for me to say though because i do naturally find school quite easy that sounds like such a brag oh my god i didn't even mean to be so boastful oh my god, i'm sorry guys like you feel free to hate me um but with all that said i literally think that that is like my little checkup um i'm really enjoying six form like so much i've literally waited for this like my whole life 
um a little bit dramatic but i just i love sixth form um i love the outfits as well sixth form fashion is like my style like i want to dress like that every single day of my life because i love it um but yeah thank you for watching this video um if you stayed to the end you're a legend because that means you have the patience to listen to me blabber about nothing for literally 15 minutes so respect to you don't forget to like subscribe comment check out all of my other six form videos as well i do an awful lot of study revision tips etc um so if you're interested in any revision tips or you go to six form you need some help um joe go check out my channel i'll try and leave some links in the description as well to like my most popular videos um but yeah i will see you next time with another video bye